Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is an energy of someone who's very curious about you. This person is trying to understand you, to learn you, to figure you out. There's an energy here of them being very invested in you at this time. This person is thinking a lot about you, and there's even almost an energy of checking up on you or uh, spying on you. This can be uh, like looking at your social media, asking friends about you, getting readings on you, but there's someone here who's very, very curious about you. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the High Priestess, and this is Pisces energy, the Knight of Swords, air energy, and the Four of Pentacles, earth energy. So with the High Priestess being here, there's again that energy of you are coming across as being a bit of a mystery to this person. This person can't really read you. They can't figure you out. There can even be some sort of um, separation or no contact because with the High Priestess, this is a very quiet energy. It's like you and this person are not on speaking terms or there's just an energy of this person is seeing you as holding back or keeping something from them and they really want to figure it out. So it's like it's got them thinking a lot about you because they do want to understand. And if this is a no contact situation, there's a desire here to open up lines of communication with you. Um, we have the Knight of Swords, which is an energy of someone who is rushing in, someone who wants to come towards you quickly. They feel a sense of urgency. Um, this person has been thinking about this for a long time and they feel like they need to act now. There's an energy of wanting to avoid losing you because we have the four of pentacles there as well which is an energy of someone who wants to keep you to themselves they they are trying to hold on to this connection this person um they there's even almost a possessive energy over this connection or over you this person is not ready to let you go and that knight of swords energy it can also be a person who's trying to win back their lover offer something you know to keep the lover from walking away so this person it's like they feel like you're almost out the door this person feels like they are losing their grip on you they feel like the, you're getting away and they need to act quickly if they want to keep you and this is something they want so there is an energy here of someone who's still holding on to you and um there is an energy of they will be communicating with you soon. So let's clarify these cards, Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords again, and this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So there's definitely a determined energy on this person's part. So this person, they know what they want. So there's a very assertive energy. There's an energy of pushing for what they want here. There's an energy here of being determined, and it's almost like an unstoppable energy. So this person is very sure, and they are coming in quickly. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Five of Cups in the reverse, and this is Water Energy. The Devil in the reverse, Capricorn Energy, and the Tower in the reverse, Mars Energy. So this person truly does believe that you are moving on from them. With the Five of Cups, there's an energy here of releasing the past, 
letting go of a mistake and not holding on to the past, instead focusing on new opportunities. And we also have the devil, which is an energy again of releasing a connection, um, a connection that may have been toxic even. It may have been an attachment more than anything. And for a long time, this person may have felt like they had some sort of grip over you. They may have felt like they had some sort of power, you know, to keep this connection. There is a controlling, possessive energy here. Um, but they are seeing you as freeing yourself. And this is triggering them to want to chase you, to keep you. Because this person, it's like, to them, you are a possession. There's an energy of someone who really sees you as belonging to them. Even if it's in a bit of an unhealthy way, this person is seeing you as, you know, they, there's, a, there's a strong hold here. They are attached to you as well. And it's not in a healthy way, but there's an energy with the devil being in the reverse, it's like this person is seeing you as wanting to cut the tie that you have with them. And um, there's an energy here of this person um, not being ready to end it. But because the devil is in the reverse, this can show an energy of them willing to make changes for the sake of keeping this connection. And the devil in the reverse does show a desire to have a healthy connection. So this person can be viewing you as wanting that healthy connection. And it's like, in order to keep you, they are willing to make the necessary changes that um, they would have to make in order to keep this connection. So it can look as if this person wants to offer you something healthy this time around. Whether they can follow through on that, um, it's yet to be seen, but there is an energy of someone who's willing to give you something that you they know that you want because they are afraid of losing you. And we have the tower in the reverse, which is an energy showing unfinished business. This person, to them, they're not ready to end the connection. They are not ready to, you know, they want things to be on their terms. There's an energy of wanting to avoid a disaster, wanting to avoid an ending. So this person is definitely... Um, going to really try their best to keep you here. And they can use a lot of words because we have the sword's energy. So this person is going to be saying all the things that they believe you want to hear. They're, they're studying you, they're figuring out what you want so that they can present themselves as that. Because this is someone who wants to maintain their attachment with you. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you, Sagittarius. Okay, so the card says it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. So there is again that energy of releasing something. This person is seeing you as someone who wants only healthy connections around you. They're seeing you as prioritizing better for yourself. You want more for yourself. You're not staying in situations that are negative, toxic, and unhealthy. And there is again an energy of you moving on from a situation that you may have been stuck in for a long time and it may have been a bit of a low vibration type of energy, but it's like you are rising above that. There's this energy of you moving forward and listening to your intuition. And that's how you're being perceived. They're seeing you as someone who doesn't want negativity. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Sagittarius. So the card says retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So there is that energy. This person feels like you are disconnecting from them. They're seeing you being more in that high priestess energy. They're seeing you being more to yourself, more introverted. Um, you know, it's like this person, they feel as if you are distancing yourself from them. You're, you're disconnecting in some way. Um, with this energy, it's like this person wants to get you alone. They want to convince you of something. They want to have an opportunity to uh, to open up to you, to communicate something here. Yeah. And it's like they want a, a, a formal, um, no, not a formal interaction, but like an intimate um, interaction with you where they can have a one-on-one -on -one with you and discuss something here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, um, Sagittarius. Okay, 
Okay, so the card says playfulness. Play is the royal road to childhood happiness and adult brilliance. Okay, so this person does see you as someone who is sincere. They see you also as someone who is innocent, someone with good intentions. And there's an energy here of they weren't in that energy either in the past. There's an energy here of someone who um, they were quite selfish with that four of pentacles. They were stingy. And the knight of swords is also an energy of someone who is reckless. They get bored easily. They are non-committal. They can be quite self selfish and reckless. And it's like this person, they recognize that these patterns may have pushed you away. Um, there is an energy here of actually appreciating what you did bring to their life. And they're not ready to lose that. So there's an energy here of someone who's really going to try hard to get you back to, to you know, recover a connection they had with you. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.